Hi everyone, welcome back to Blackjack. I'm Blackjack Aviani, and here's the second episode of Hisui in Snow. Uh, fiery Reflections in Snow. Now, I did get something that may be a spoiler. Uh, someone said a character's name in reference to this episode, and if he does show up, I'm going to be very excited. <laughs> but yes. We'll see if it's true or if they were just randomly talking. That Pokemon was supposedly mistreated by humans. It supposedly. lost everything and became something else. Wait, last we saw this kid, he was careening off a cliff with his Zorua. He's just not there anymore. <laughs> People and Pokemon can never coexist. That sounds like a you problem. Huh? Oh, here we go. Okay, it's the dream sequence. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Neat. There you are. Yeah, you kind of fell. And you will continue to do so. Of course, now I got people talking outside my window. Ah, <laughs> they got a little understanding going on. A little bit. Doesn't seem to be broken. Can you at least call for help? If not, yeah, there we go. I mean, I've had massive sprays. I know how painful they can be. Good. Okay, I'm here. No need to be scared. <laughs> Come on, climb up. Right there. You so get rub its face against the cliff before <laughs> until it uh, picks up on what it's supposed to do. Oh, right. That hurt. Again. That's a good detail there. The tips of his ears are turning red. <laughs> I 
I'm pretty sure if you eat a leak raw, it's like, doesn't it make you throw up? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Seems like it would hurt a heck of a lot. So, why is it that they stopped using these? <laughs> <laughs> oh, big feet. Garchomp? I'm trying to remember, uh, I don't really remember talking to Dr. Footstep all that much. Bet you died the, the feet, prints, and all that. You know, even if the light goes away, you could still try going in that direction. There you go. Yeah, don't screw it up this time, kid. Well, you made it to the other end of the log, it seems, so... Explain to him. Zoro works. It's fine. It helped me. It's my friend. Be quiet. Huh? Oh, everywhere. So they were everywhere in the forest and didn't do much. Just made glowy lights until now. Maybe it's because they didn't perceive a threat until now. to him. Come on! Explain more of what happened! You're never gonna change the world if you keep yourself quiet. I wonder what that move was. That does not look like it would produce that sort of footprint. Uh, 
Let's go. It's weird the footprints start at a distance. Use this time to talk to your father. Yeah? Young man, huh? we can all disembark now. <laughs> he is here. <laughs> and doing jack shit as usual. Does this mean, though, that he actually left Hisui of his own free will? It's weird that the audio gives it. <laughs> okay, so it's just the uh, same. Yeah, additional voices. <laughs> uh. Okay, so uh, this is so much harder for me to do on. OBS than it ever was on XSplit. XSplit, I could just move the windows around really easily, and here I have to carefully crop everything. And okay, <laughs> why do I have a feeling that they just threw Volo in because they knew everyone was going to talk about him, <laughs> even though he serves no purpose whatsoever? Much like what his bosses would say. <laughs> <laughs> that, and that he's not going to have any role at all in the third episode. Like, not even what he had here. Because, yeah, you know, the, the focus is Alec. And if they were to introduce game elements at this point. Well, aside from it looks like they're going to introduce the game element of the time-space rifts. But you know what I mean. If they were to introduce plot elements at this point with only one episode left to go. If there were more episodes, if this was a longer series, I would expect that to have a bigger role. But as it is, y'all remember uh, Street Fighter 2V? Y'all remember how Akuma would just be seen in the background of random shots and serve absolutely no purpose whatsoever? <laughs> uh. Alright, so anyway, um, because there's only dialogue coming from one character, it's hard for me to get a grasp on some stuff. Um, so one drop of leak juice gets rid of a huge welt like that? Why did we, why did the people in Sinnoh stop using that if that's just something you could pick up out of the random garbage growing in your overgrown lot, you know what I mean? If better medicine, you know, you remember the potions in Hisui um, heal for 60. That's the basic potion. And, you know, it just seems like the modern stuff is so much less efficient than that. So it's like, why did they ever stop uh, using the good stuff, huh? You know, you think people would be growing those leeks by the, by the bunch, like everywhere they can. <laughs> yeah, but you know, people never make sense. You know, <laughs> I don't really have much to say about this episode. Um, I mean, 
Zorua showed that it knows how to use the local medicinal plants. It knows how to reach out to a human being. Uh, <sighs> oh, goodness golly. Oh, did not sleep very well last night. Uh, they made it back up. Alex's father reacted poorly. And Zora work showed up. But all they did was really blow out the torch. It seems like if they perceived a threat, they would have reacted harsher. So, I don't know. It's kind of hard to get an angle on what they were after. I, and I imagine it was like, oh, let this be a warning to you, sir. Thing. But blowing out a torch as over dramatically as they did... It's a little odd as a let this be a message to you thing. It <laughs> uh. And then Alec leaves Hisui at some point and comes back. And so that puts him around the time of the game we can see because of Olo's presence. I suppose that's the purpose he would serve outside of fan service is to establish this is somewhere around the time the games take place. <laughs> um, time space rifts are opening. Um, which, did the game ever connect that to the rift? Because after you close the rift, time space rifts still open. So, it would seem odd if they did, because they're very much not. Unless it's supposed to be residual energy or something, or I don't know. <sighs> you think about it, the whole concept doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> that this is Pokemon. We're not supposed to think about what makes sense. Um, I gotta go spend some time with Athena, so I will talk with you later. Until next time, I am Blackjack Gabbiani, and I am trying to rack my brain trying to consider the frickin' time space rifts. What in the hell?